what's up guys welcome to today's video and in today's video yes you saw Tyler in the thumbnail right we are letting a spin the wheel decide our challenge today I've already pre-spinned it and the challenge I'm not happy about it I wanted an easy one for like a warm-up but they gave me a semi difficult one as you can see we're on transit so the challenge that we got is we have to stay on the bus the entire time. We are bus dependent, which is freaking stupid because I am not good at zombies, so we're not going to survive very long. With the intro out of the way, let's get straight into today's video. <sighs> no turning back now. Hey, Ted. How's it going? You're going to be uh, dealing with me for the next like 20 minutes or 10 minutes, depending on how long I last on this stupid bus. But yeah, let's go. Honestly, when I got this challenge of the spin the wheel, I honestly didn't even know this was a challenge or thing. And I'm so disappointed in myself for not even thinking about it. Um, it's a really good challenge and probably harder than a, a one room challenge because this is the room that you have to work with. And in round eight, round 10, uh, I can't even ask the zombie. Uh, the zombies start to get a little bit harder to kill. Uh, when you rebuild the barriers, the barriers become like steel, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, and we only have one gun, which is the R2 D2. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Never mind, it's the B2 3R. Oh, I literally just said fucking that little ro robot um, dildo's name from Star Wars. I know a lot of Star Wars fans go, I hate me for that comment, but he literally looks like a metal dildo. Prove me wrong. <laughs> um, anyways, now that I just pissed off the whole entire fucking Star Wars community, uh, I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you do, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and all you guys have made that possible. This is a very interesting challenge. Um, I don't even think I've seen many people play this play this I do this type of challenge Ted is looking really sexy today did you what did you uh, use a different cologne I think you did I really want to stick my heart right, my English needs work like I tell you what like if my English was a little bit better my jokes would be a lot better and also a big thing that happened yesterday, I hit two trick shots live on Twitch. Um, the clips will be on my TikTok channel. And that TikTok video has gotten 5,000 views, which is absolutely insane. And it's only just raising up. And someone commented on that uh, TikTok, like, uh, what's with the Borderlands graphics? You know, I was so tempted to like send a hate comment back but I really didn't want to build up that reputation of being toxic because I was already toxic to one of my fans I don't want to be toxic again um, I, I feel like it's not a good thing to be toxic I like I know when I don't need to um, say what I need to say you know I say it to myself and roast them in my mind and guess what new thing has come to the YouTube channel because uh, why not? Um, there will be a montage of clips at the end of every single month of just stream highlights. Um, and because one of my fans, Guru, has been doing a lovely job of clipping all the funny moments and good moments that happen in the stream, which is pretty crazy. We are on round five right now, which is... I honestly thought we would die in round four, to be honest. Made the... Our uh, burst pistol is really fucking good, and I got my coffee with me, so. <sighs> Yummy coffee. Um, let, let me know in the comment section down below on what challenges you want me to do, because I love doing challenges, and the challenges love to screw me over, so. I mean, the wheel, like, screwed me over today. Like, I honestly, when I saw the wheel, I saw no perks. And I was like, that'll be a really interesting challenge because I have never ever done that, I think. And I've also never ever done uh, staying on the bus for the entire Zombies game until I fucking die. 
Um, which is not... Oh, okay, yeah. I'm already getting overwhelmed. That's crazy. I wonder what the highest round... Oh, shit. Um, 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 I got... Yeah, okay, yeah. That... I ran out of ammo. And I wasn't winning that because of how many zombies were on the fucking bus. Well, round five for that challenge. Let's go. Um, next challenge. All right, so the... Third challenge that we're going to be doing uh, is no Leroy on Buried. I, I, I gu guarantee that the spinning wheel fucking hates me. It's basically like doing the fucking, um, what do you call it, the starter room challenge because there's so many things that Leroy can open that you can't open. So since uh, we cannot use Leroy, we cannot get Pack a Punch, which is. Just stupid. I mean, we'll still survive until, like, at least round 12, but Leroy is everything. He he is my giant pookie bear. Like, wh why do they have to take that away from me? Like, bro. Now, this gun, the Remington, is really good. Oh, I just, re I just reminded myself that we won't be even able to get double tap. Oh, my fucking God. So, we won't be able to get jug. No, no, we will be able to... No. What? I just remembered on how hard this challenge is. I, I just processed it in my brain. So, no jug, no double tap, and no pack a punch. Those are the things that we're not able to get due to Leroy being out of play. Which is absolutely stupid. I mean, technically, I could just no clip and go get double tap, but we ain't gonna cheat. Um, I only put the mod menu on last game to get to round 25, and I even failed that. I went to 255, and then gave up, because I couldn't be fucked. Um, because on round 225, you just can't kill any zombie. It's basically impossible. I need to grab this quick revive, quickly. I mean, we're able to spin the mystery box, that's good. And also, if we get Teddy Bear, um, that box will disappear. And... Because we can't lose Leroy, um, we can't give Leroy candy to uh, keep the box in place, which is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Um, there's so many things that Leroy does uh, for you and buried. I never really thought about it, um, but I'm gonna suffer. Um, so I don't even know how much money is in the bank, so I'm gonna go check that real quick. Okay, so we're able to grab speed collar, um, which is good, at least that's not freaking locked away, and I have no money in the bank, okay, that, that makes sense, that makes perfect fucking sense, uh, let's grab this one, the AN-94 chalk, the AN-94 is the best wall buy in this game, prove me wrong, it is just built different, you know, and we're gonna put it right here, cause we're gonna be trading here anyways. We're gonna save up for, um, getting, what do you call it, fucking speed collar, and then we're gonna see on what round we make it to, because we can't get Jug, as I previously said, because Leroy has to destroy the barriers. Um, so yeah, kind of depressing, but you know, it is what it is. I ain't gonna complain. I am gonna complain. Why the hell, why did the, why the fuck did I wake up this morning and decide to do a spin the wheel challenge? I'm griefing my own gameplay here. <laughs> like, I'm letting a luck-based will decide my fate. Like, I'm so stupid. I could have just done a normal run, and I mean, it would have been boring, so. I thank the will for choosing decently hard challenges. So, the first one was a difficult challenge. The first challenge is the hardest challenge that I've ever done. I uh, stay on the bus only without getting all your stuff and everything like that um it's a really hard challenge and i want to see if any of you guys can make it to a higher round than five if you guys can make it to a higher round than five um send me like a photo or like a screenshot or something like that but you have to as soon as you can get on the bus you have to stay on the bus, and you cannot kill any zombies on round one before you get on the fucking bus. And then the second challenge is just not invalid because 
I fucked it up. I mean, we might do, like, uh, see on how long I can last on round 100 with just absolutely nothing. That would be pretty fun. I think we can get a speed collar, which is going to be really useful. And I hope this gun's able to carry me to at least round 15. So I, I feel like I've accomplished something. So we don't have enough for speed collar, but we opened up the doors to it, which is cool. Now I'm pretty sure speed, um, I'm pretty sure stamina up is in this game. Oh, and another perk that we're not able to get because Leroy is not in play. Uh, Vulture's Aid. I mean, it's not really that good of a perk in the first place, so like, I'm not really, I haven't really taken a hit there. But I've definitely taken a hit because I cannot use double tap or jug. And I don't know how the hell that zombie is still alive. I literally just got, um, oh my god, max ammo is back to back. Holy shit, we're not going to be able to get max ammo for a while, but that is fine because our weapon is a war by weapon, so it is what it is. You know what? I just remembered. I forgot that the VMP was a war by weapon twice in one video, last video, which was fucking insane. Like, when I die, I want, like, a scientific person to pick apart my brain and tell my loved ones on how fucked my brain is, because it's just, I know my brain's fucked, that's for damn sure, because, um, as a kid, when I was, like, seven, I did chroming, um, worst mistake of my life, it's where you grab a, um, you have to turn on power? I completely forgot power was a fucking thing on this map. Oh, the fuck, bro. Uh, I'm pretty sure power is um, over here. Oh my god, I remembered. Let's go. I'm an absolute goat. That means I'm going to have to fucking save up money again. Oh my fucking god. But anyways, I did chroming uh, when I was in year 7 for like a full day. And I forgot like, basically half of my shit. Like, And I still forget to this day. Um... Like, people ask me, uh, do you remember this? And I'm like, refresh my memory. Um, and it's just, the stuff that you do when you're young is so stupid. Um, I don't smoke anymore. I don't um, do all that stuff anymore, which is good. And I get um, drops pretty um, frequent. I feel like um, the mod menu is in effect here. Um, it's not my fault. I wasn't able to get rid of the mod menu. I still have the mod menu active at the moment, but I have not used it this run. Uh, so we have gotten speed color, which is pretty nice. And the COD gods are giving us awesome drops. Round seven, we're absolute pog champs. You know, honestly, I thought we'd get a round six game, but we're not. And the witch is looking at us like she wants to steal our money. Not today, bitch. Not today. Because I can't even get into your house to fuck you over and then leave you. Let's go, round eight. Woohoo. This, this is a great YouTube video at the moment. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to edit this um, pretty soon. <coughs> Pardon me. I might take a screenshot of, like, this... The spin the wheel thing and the the cat the um a title will be I let a spin I let a wheel decide my fate in zombies. Ooh, what a fucking title! Holy shit. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely be doing the spin the wheel challenge on Black Ops Six as well, and Black Ops Three. I feel like that'll be pretty fun. Not gonna lie. But the sad thing is, because I haven't played Black Ops Three in a while, it was like a East East Rake solid solo run um my fucking god i'm absolutely insane the training techniques are just un beatable okay that, that's that's fair that's okay i don't mind oh shit i completely forgot about the mod menu okay i am not going to use any of the weapon any other weapon other than the an94 because i feel like they'll be cheating i i'm so sorry guys i completely forgot the mod menu uh makes it so when you Fuck! Okay, so I decided to do a fourth challenge because why the fuck not? Um, the wheel have decided for me not to pick up drops. So, you know those like shiny things you get from zombies? Yeah, I'm not allowed to pick them up. So, I really hope I don't pick up the drop. I mean, it's not a bad, like, 
challenge. Now the one good thing about this map is that you don't need to turn on power. And because the challenge is no drops, I can pack a punch, but the reason why I chose this map is because pack a punch is randomly dropped. So you can be on like round 30 and still not have a fucking pack, which is freaking hilarious, which is the reason why I love this map so bloody much. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the video. If you are, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and all you guys have made that point. Okay, well, what's up, guys? Welcome to. I'm joking. I'm not gonna restart this challenge. <laughs> um, that was fucking stupid. I literally dive to zombie and I get fucking nuke a drop. That is so stupid. Um, I could have ended the video there and just left it on a cliffhanger, but nah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but basically, as I was saying beforehand, this map is a luck-based map, and it is very, very fun. When I first played this map, I thought it was dog shit. So yeah, it's like Transit. In my opinion, I think Transit delivered more than Nuketown, but Nuketown is better than Transit. Now here's why. Because Transit wasn't made ahead of its time, so, the Xbox 360 couldn't handle the Transit's um, graphics and all the stuff it was trying to load in. So, what the devs did to prevent that from happening uh, was they added denizens to slow you down. And they also added fog so it didn't have to load in so much stuff. Which is the reason why there is fog on Transit. Now, with Newtown Zombies... On release of Black Ops 2, I'm pretty sure we got the free starter maps, which was Farm, uh, Town, and Fast Depot, also Transit. And we got Nuketown as a DLC, like a disc DLC. Oh my god. Like, this was back in the day where you got DLCs on disc, um, I think, or some shit. So, as the first of a DLC map, it was really good. And when Transit came out, everyone hated it. So I hope... Why the hell am I knifing? I literally knifed last fucking game and picked up a fucking drop. Completely by accident. It wasn't even my fucking fault either. It was the zombie's fault for dropping a drop. Like, bruh. Alright, mystery box is over there. So let's go over there. Open up that. And always open up the back door over here. Oh my god, bruh. Wheel, let's go. Shoot that down. And a mystery box. Hello, mystery box. How's it going? Oh, god damn it. Okay, now we have to save up for uh, mystery box and all the rest of it. You know, let's risk it. Let's knock this zombie real quick. Imagine if it gave me a drop. That would have been fucking hilarious. Now, there is a glitch where you can, like, if a zombie, like, crawls over here, you sprint up, n jump up, and knife, and you get launched up onto the roof. Oh what my god, I nearly picked up max ammo. It, the game's like, oh, I know that you, your your luck with the max ammo is literally trash. So I'm just going to do a little this in front of you like a fucking candy. Apparently the zombies have a swank off Mike Tyson. Now, he's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. Let's go. I got enough of mystery box. See, when in doubt, just grenade it out, basically. If you're out of ammo, just grenade zombies, and you'll surely get enough points from mystery box or a gun will buy a weapon. I mean, we got 5 7. That's not bad. Anyways, if you got enough zombies in like a horde, that's like 10 points per hit. So if you got like 20 zombies, that's like 200, I think, at the top of my head. I math is not my. I nearly ran to the nuke. Oh my fucking god. This is gonna be a hard one. Really hard. Because, like, if a zombie's, like, right in my face and, like, I kill him and it, I pick up the drop, that's me failing. <laughs> it, it's so stupid. I mean, at least that hasn't happened. So that's great. You know what really suck? If I pick up a drop and not even realize. 
Cause if that happens, I'm gonna have to delete this whole fucking gameplay. Cause I really don't want to get shit on in the comment section down below. The five sevens are so good for points and has a decent amount of ammo, which is really nice. Pull our first perk is dropping. Let's go, poggers. Now I really hope it's fucking goddamn jug. But apparently we need jug. And it's dropping. I think that was jug. I think that was jug. It was a long looking perk. It was long, just like my penis. It was speed collar. I. Huh? Oh shit. Oh my god. See? See? The game's trying to fucking make me quit. The game's trying to, like, get me. Like, bruh. You're not getting me, bro. You're not getting me. Not this run. That's damn sure. Ah, <sighs> goddamn. I shouldn't be, like, basically making out with the zombies. Because, like, if they drop uh, a drop and I pick it up. That's the end of the run. This challenge is hard, but not hard, if you get what I mean, because it means that like high rounds, I can't pick up max ammo. Round five right now, not bad. Um, could do better. Like realistically, someone could get like to rack round 30 doing this challenge if they get good box luck. And actually you could probably like get, get a war by weapon like the M14, but the M14 up to like round 20 is probably not gonna do much. You're gonna have to get like a new, like ammo for the M14 after like a couple of zombie kills because all war by weapons do like like all war by weapons fall off pretty quickly. Um, I mean talking about ammo and guns, we just got like the best DLC weapon. Uh, actually, no, the best DLC weapon would have to be the minigun that you get in Mob of the Dead. Now I know that I have never really done a Mob of the Dead. Uh, video like Easter egg video on how to get to the pack a punch and probably not gonna do it because I can't be fucked um, <laughs> uh, The other side is very fun to use and we need to save up for speed call up because we're literally using an LMG and LMGs are literally known for their slow reload high ammo capacity and overpowered um, damage I mean, the meta at the moment in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is literally a fucking LMG and a SMG, which we don't talk about the SMG because whoever uses that SMG, bruh, be unique for once. <laughs> Choose a different gun. <laughs> this game fucking hates me. If I see another max ammo, I'm gonna cry. Uh, let's go. Oh, no, we're not gonna go into the back area. We're just gonna keep on training in the middle area. I mean, we don't need to train yet, because like, round six, so... Okay, so the gods are fucking smil smiling upon us, apparently. Uh, we have gotten Pack pretty early. Now, I was hoping for Jug, but Pack is also pretty good. We'll get Pack after we get a Speed Collar. I love the LSAT. Uh, when I first ever played uh, Newtown Zombies, I think my highest round was... Round 8, but mind you, I was playing PS3 at my brother's old place, and I was like 15, 14, maybe 13, I think, maybe. Um, and they were re still releasing zombie maps. That's how long ago it was. And I did dog shit. Like, I, as you get older, you become more self aware, and your gaming ability improves drastically. Seeing my gameplay, like, increase over time is just so good. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's go and get speed collar real quick, because we're going to need it. <sighs> oh my fucking god, I nearly died there. Drinking speed collar, I really shouldn't have gone. Fuck! Okay, I've had enough of this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.